So to set up for our rendering, we need to open the render settings window. So it's window, rendering editors, and render settings. Okay, so in this panel, we're gonna use the mental ray renderer. The other things we need to change are the format of our output. Our image has transparency in it because it's the girl in her shadow and there's nothing behind her. So we need the image to be a PNG. So let's scroll down through here till we find PNG. Now we're not creating a single frame, we're creating 40 frames. Select this box, which will give you a number of different options of the format that the file will be output. You want to select one of the formats that has the little hash in it, and the hash represents the number of the frame. So if we select this one, we will get file names such as running girl 1.png, running girl 2.png, running girl 3.png and we'll get a whole sequence of these. So let's select that version. Okay, the next thing is the frames. In the frame range, we're gonna start at frame one, which is the first frame in our animation, and we wanna end at frame 40, which is where she's on the other side. Okay, the camera, that we're rendering through is not the perspective camera, it's our camera one that we've created. And finally, we need to change the image size of our renders to match that of the video. The video is 1024 by 576 and that will give us our frame size. These are all of the options that are essential for producing the animation. So we can close this window and render out each of those frames and they'll be separate PNGs. To render each one, we can batch render it. We wanna to switch to our rendering options in this top corner and then we want to go to the render option and batch render. As soon as you click that, it will start creating frame after frame. Now you'll want to know where they've gone to. And if you look down in the bottom corner, it will show you the directory where it's gonna write all of those images. I haven't saved this file, which is probably a really bad idea. So the images getting created are gonna be called untitled. So you might want to save your Maya file in the case that um, Maya does crash at some point. So once this is all done, we're going to shut Maya and come back in After Effects.